Hello, ladies and gentlemen, everybody out on YouTube and right now on Twitch, if you're live, if you've managed to make that appointment. Hey, Doom Lad is in. Yeah, you're you're early. For, actually, you're just in time, Doom Lad. We're just about to get started. Okay, we are playing Return of the Obra Dinn. And let's get started. Thirty-three solved. We've got a lot of doings to do. I want to do at least two episodes tonight. So for people on YouTube, they're just going to have to wait a day for part two of tonight's session. We've only been playing for almost eight hours. That's not terrible, considering how far we've got. Loading. Okay, there we go. I don't quite remember what all we were doing, but I do remember that I went through and I kind of was like, maybe if we assumed names, we should probably stop there, right? And I went through the book and there were only two names that we've actually assumed who they were. Can I ring this bell? I want to ring this bell. It's not letting me. So a top man went out there on these ropes. That must have been fun. Can I climb up there? I don't know. I don't know. We need to look for the next person. What, what happens when we go down now? Like, this guy is like, hey, come down when you're ready to leave. Let's just test this. What's the worst that could happen? Sup. Hold on. We should go. Storm's nearly about, so we won't be coming back. If you've still business here, climb up and finish it. Else I'll make to port. Interesting. Huh. I was wondering if I was going to get, like, some kind of button, like... Click yes to go, but obviously we can't leave if we don't know the whole story of everything. So, alright, let's whip out our book and see what we do and don't know. Whoops, darn it, I hate that. I'm still not... Ah! Used to the controls. So, the big one are the Russians for now, but we're not going to do the Russians right now. We could work on the top men. Or not the top men, the Stewarts. These guys. Specifically, these two are the only ones. Like, this guy, we've kind of figured out. He's the fourth mate, Stewart. And then there's these two guys. And we know how they died. I, I assume we know how they died. We know how this guy died. He was spiked. But I'm not 100% sure how to tell who he is. And we've tried to search him down before. And frankly, I'm getting sick of him. We could start working on some of the... Uh... You know what? The carpenters. There are two carpenters. This is one of them. This is the other. I just realized that they both have the same kind of collars. Let's track this guy down. He was speared by a terrible beast. A lot of people were on this one, the murder. Mm. There was one that took place on... I think it was this one. Where this guy died, William Was Wasson. What is that? Orlop? Let's try to find that. I think that's the one that has the two carpenters. In fact. Yep. Let's see if we can figure out a name from these two. Okay, here we are in the Orlop. Um, we are on the wrong side. I 
I think that's it. The Unholy Captives. Okay, I am headed straight over here, and here we go. Okay, these guys are definitely carpenters. Now, how can we tell which one is which? Let's check out the manifest. We have a carpenter and a carpenter's mate. Now, my, my instinct is to call the black guy the carpenter's mate. Just because this is 1807 and things weren't real progressive. They're both American. Right? We got a Mar Marcus and a Winston. Number 10 and 11. I need some kind of clues around here. I'm sure we can find out something. Are you a Winston or Marcus? That's possible. But they're both basic, like when you're a carpenter, you do whatever you can. I kind of want to focus on this guy. But let's say he is the carpenter. How do we know which one he is? The that guy is the carpenter, not the carpenter's mate. Because he's looking on what's going on while the other guy's working. Two stewards here. We're pretty sure of both of those stewards. What other memories has this guy been in? He was in the very next one. Looking for the dead body that led us to the next section. It was that guy right there, right? Hey, get a little bit closer. Oh no, this is going backwards. I mean, while we're here, uh, can we see what's going on? Whack! Right, right in the neck. He's moving away. <laughs> okay, part four is what we're looking for, which happened on the cargo hold. Ah, when he was getting his leg sawed off. That's right. That's what started the mess, was this leg right here. Alright, let's see if we can find the carpenters. Get a better handle. Keep pressure here. Okay, what's up there? I guess it would be one deck up. Okay. 
This guy again. He's got a gun. It's like he's a marine. We just know that he's an officer. Maybe the gunner again. He was pulling out a stretcher for this guy. They're both in this chapter. Where's the other guy? That's not... That is. Wait, so these guys are definitely carpenters. But they were kind of, oh god, we need a couple of people with a stretcher. I don't have much else to go on with these two. Although he does have like a more carpenter-like. Uh, okay, let's stay with what we got now. So, this guy again. We keep coming back to this guy. If he's a gunner, he'll be in that whole fiasco. Twelve memories. He was everywhere. Where did he die? The escape. He was there during the doom, when Abigail died. I wonder what he was doing there. Which part did this happen in? Orlop. Not the gun deck? This was during an explosion. That might be a good place to check. Still, I was sure he had something to do with the cannons, which is where the gunner would be, right? Let me check this. What is a gunner? Military officer. In charge of the weapons and military procedures on the ship. So, like, for example, he would be the one handing out ammunition, right? When it came down to that whole point where, I think that was during, man, when was that? No, it was before the Doom. It was when the soldiers from the sea were up. Let's check this out right here. I want to see what he was doing. Uh, wrong deal. That was him carrying four rifles in the Doom? I don't remember. But we're on the, cr the, the same deck. Where is... There it is. I have to walk around this way. That's inconvenient. But I seem to remember somebody handing out guns. Okay, I'm one deck too high. Oh god, he was one of these. There's our man.
No! The guys in top hats are handing out rifles. This is the bosun. This has got to be the bosun's mate. That is more than three people. We got somebody wrong. But if this is the bosun, this has got to be the bosun's mate. That's got to be right. Where's our mystery man? He got tossed, looks like. Knifed in a uniform. Didn't we think that this was like the surgeon's mate? He exploded. This might be the gunner and gunner's mate. Not sure. Okay, you were strangled. You were strangled. Everybody gets strangled. But we don't know who you are. Where are his shoes? We might have to identify him by his shoes. I'd hate to do that. Huh. I have questions about these two. One of the grunts. Can't tell from his outfit. Maybe one of the seamen? Maybe one of the top men? I didn't get a good look at his pants. I know that's weird to say. No, he's... He's dressed like a top man. And a lot of the Chinese were top men, too. Let's label him as such. Unknown top man, for now. In fact, aren't all the Chinese, like, sort of top men? Yeah, all the Chinese are top men. Yeah, pretty much. Find a Chinaman. So, this guy, I don't know what he is. Oh, who are you? Oh, you're this guy. Still not sure about that. You're one of the stewards. I haven't found our man yet. Oh, hey, what's going on up here? Maybe that'll help. Oh, it's this guy, Nathan Peters. So he was spiked to death. We're pretty sure he's Winston Smith. I might switch those around and see if that has any effect. In fact, let me do that real quick. Instead of Winston Smith, let's call him Marcus. And instead of... Why don't I have you labeled? Instead of Marcus, let's call you Winston. Or maybe you're... Maybe you're Marcus. And you're Winston. I have no idea who these people are. Cripes. He perished way further along the way.
Still haven't found our, our hat guy, though. Well, you look Indian. Oh, you are Indian. We've already got you identified. Never mind, we don't. Well, you're a seaman. How many people from India are there? Persia, maybe? Ooh. That sounds about right. Look at his clothing, too. So the ropes don't get caught. Prussian. You think he's Prussian? he's Prussian? I'm starting to agree. Let's label him as per uh, Persian. Ahmed Gull. Omed Gull. Hey, there we go. Hey, we got the carpenters. Boop. It does mean, however, that we got somebody wrong. So let me take a look, quick look. Not the mate. Possibly the bosun's mate. We possibly got him wrong. I don't think so, though. That feels right. Maybe he just wasn't shot by a cannon. And... First Mate Stewart. Paul Moss. Why did we think he was Paul? That might be what's messing up the other two Stewarts when I kept trying to do that. When did you die? Paul, look out. That's why we thought your name was Paul. Oh. He's incomplete because we don't know who killed him. Do we know who killed you? That sounds like a pretty fun mystery to figure out. A murder mystery. Although, I still didn't see Hat Guy. That's bothering me. I wish I could identify where they... Here's a gun. Oh, he had a gun. Okay, real quick. Because we are, we are not done with this memory that we're in. Um, I've forgotten which part we're in. Crap. Oh, we're in this part. Our man is here. But where? Beard and hat. There he is. That was man. You got knocked down. Nothing's saying who you are, though. That's gonna kill me. This is gonna kill me. I wanna kill him. Who's even left? Ooh. We haven't seen a purser yet. Would a purser have that hat, though? Looks like he's opening the lower deck. Makes me want to say ship stewards, but we've already seen what the stewards wear. We have three midshipmen that we don't know about. He's not a topman. He's not a seaman. There's actually not many things he could be. There is not a lot of things he could be left. We 
would a, would is that what a purser would do? Is that where a purser would be all over the ship helping things? A purser would be the guy that's counting the coins. This does not strike me as a purser. And he is not the ship steward. He doesn't look Indian at all. If anything, he looks Amish. Look at that beard. Or Scottish. I don't think he's the purser either. It's really the only one that fits because of process of elimination. Hey, do we know who you are? We know nothing about you. We don't even know how you died. Did you perish? He disappeared in the doom. Tough one. You think he looks German? How many Germans are not accounted for? English? Austrian. That's pretty close to German. That would make him a gunner. And it kind of fits. Hmm. We've heard him talk. What kind of accent did he have? Trade the wretched fish and shells for gold, huh? Who's there? Really? He was one of the mutineers. Okay. Okay. He was one of the mutineers. He got his head blown off. Gotta go. Good luck. All right, Doom Lad. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to take a chance and call him the gunner he's very military looking I don't know who the gunner's mate would be but it seems to fit what else were we doing oh yeah we were trying to solve a murder Paul Moss we were trying to solve Paul Moss's murder that was during the escape. Which is... Alright, just, just... There we go. <laughs> the escape. 106. That's at the very top deck. We'll take another look at the gunner deck, too, to make sure that uh, Wolf, the guy with the helmet, is actually the gunner. And it wouldn't be a mystery hour stream if things were not lagtastic.
Let's see what's going on here. Last one. Move quick. You're not taking the last push. This is Leonid Vol Volket, which means this guy was killed by one of the Russians. <laughs> All right. First mate Stewart, done. Anybody else while we're here? That's the uh, captain, I believe. Captain don't believe in no shirts. We pretty much have you guys down. Yeah. Brennan, the first mate. We have everybody here identified. Holy crap. John Davies. Bosun. This young man, he crawled over here. This guy is next, and I suspect that he is going to help us. Knifed. Who knifed you? We should be able to tell who knifed him now. Let's not work at where you perished. Let's instead go to the next part of the escape, part two. Because that guy did not die at the same time as... Uh, when he was knifed. His wounds were not instant. Let them go. Who are you? How'd you get here? Not a top man, are you? Well, no, you just climbed out from the ropes on the side. That smacks of top man -ness. How many top men are even left? There's one from England and one from Scotland. Could probably play guessy with one of him. He's not what I would call. Whoa! 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 He was knifed by what? Whom I'm assuming is the gunner. But I don't know his name. He was just running away to this room? Why this room? What's in here? What is here? He's a midshipman. Well, well, well. That tells me quite a bit. This tie around his neck, I've been wondering about that. That's a signifier showing that he's a midshipman. Are all three of these guys midshipmen? No, different kind of scarf. We've seen those ties before though. Where else, where else? 
We have him as an officer, but I suspect he is also a midshipman as well. And there's one more. Nah, that's a surgeon. Yellow scarf tied in a certain way. Okay, never mind. This guy isn't a midshipman. We got so many of these people right. So if he's a midshipman, what are the options for that? Peter Milroy, Thomas. Hmm. So let's continue with this little thing in part four. Where what's-his-face got his head blown off? Possibly Wolf here. Stab. Run, run, run. Perish. Actually, let me do one more thing on this real quick. Bear up, son. I'll be with you. Tell Pete's mother I did the best to pull him back and save him. One, two, three places to sh sleep. It's definitely midshipmen's quarters. Where's head blown off? Here's head blown off. Overboard, who is this? Oh, he's that one top man. Oh, you're not taking it well, Captain. Anything else we can discern from this area? If not, we'll just move on to the next part. Much else. Okay, part five. Where Davies is clubbed by Brennan. Not much to be learned here, though. So, okay. There it is. I keep getting lost in these memories. Okay. Last thing. Not sure if we can determine who this guy is, but... Cut. Don't 
Leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I... This guy again. I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! <laughs> Out of curiosity, Bosun, Bosun's mate. We could have figured out who these two doors were. Because there's the Bosun's and Bosun's mate. I might take a look at that when I get out of here. Midshipman, the Stewarts, multiple Stewarts? That's a pretty small area for the stewards. There are f like five stewards, Jesus. Passengers. Purser's office. That's how we identify the purser. Hmm. So I got nothing for this man. Except that somewhere around here... There are more, uh, there are more midshipmen. I thought that tie was the indicator, but I guess not. Because then there would be like one, two, three, four midshipmen, and I only have three midshipmen. Or maybe this guy isn't one, it's just this guy, this guy, and this guy for some reason. This guy smacks of the uh, the gunner's mate, though, is what I was guessing. Okay, I'll do a little more investigating. So, two things. I want to check out the bosun and bosun's mates. What is a bosun? I keep looking this up, but I keep forgetting. Charge of the crew and operations and equipment. This is the bosun. He had a necklace on of some sort. I can't quite ID that, but if we see a guy wearing this necklace, we know he's the bosun. Is that a whistle? And a book? Okay, bosun's mate. Bosun's mate might have been killed during the doom when cannons were going off. Man, imagine sleeping next to this. Also, the Stewarts. Which was just across the hall. Oh, man. Three Stewarts? I know there's more than that. Yeah, this is a Stewarts uniform. Okay, so that helps. What else? Purser's office. Downstairs, right hand office. Let's see if we can't find some clues as to which one is the purser. It's about what you'd expect. I don't I don't see where he sleeps. Surgeon. We don't know which one is the surgeon's mate. Well, I don't see any place for a surgeon's mate to sleep. No, this doesn't help.
What is this? Passenger? Crew. That helps. These are the passengers. Not very far off from the crew, really. Hmm. None of this helps. Get a closer look. Well, I don't need to look at the carpenter shop, but fuck it. Let's look at the carpenter shop. Yep, this is definitely the carpenter shop. Woo! And finally, this. Armory. With powder storage. God, look how twisted this all is. Bop, 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 bop. Going all around. Whirl. I like this one. It just goes all around the world into a nice little spiral. I like spirals. So. What is next? I know what's next. This guy is next. For pretty good reason. Also... Also, whoever this guy is. Is this the guy that... Okay, no. Who was the guy that was electrocuted? Was that not Unholy Captives? Maybe it was The Calling. Round. This is the disappearance. Shot with a shotgun. Knifed. Who was the guy that was electrocuted? Here it is. This guy. Unknown soul, which isn't entirely right. He's a top man. I want to get a closer look at this. Located in the main deck, towards the bow. But this is a good way to kind of get a look at all of the uh, all of the top men in one big rumble. Oh, this guy. That's right, he fell here. There's the one. Who's that? Can't quite see who that is. Hey, look, enemies. Look alive. Unlike this guy. <laughs> mm. I'm so lonely. Alright, we know all of these guys are top men, so let's start labeling them as such. Almost get you nailed, my man. Wait, we already know who you are. Are these all top men?
You fell overboard. Why are you here? Where are you in this mess? You're not a top man, are you? They were hoisting the sails. I guess because of the storm. There are plenty of people below me, but I can't get a good look at their faces. It's not very fair. So some of this might be like process of elimination, but all the Chinamen have been top men, right? We have one of them named, and then the other three not. And I don't have any way of identifying them. Also, we have Lewis Walker, an Englishman. Timothy Beertman from Scotland. Oh, that Persian guy. Which we got correct. We already got you. You're the Russian. I want to say he's Scottish, but I got nothing to say that. Like, nothing really to, to aim on that. Nothing telling me for certain. That's so cool. I'd like to be able to get a closer look at these people, but I guess I'm too high up. This is getting harder and harder. I thought this would get easier as I went along by process of elimination. Who's this guy? Perished in the doom. I know nothing about this. Why don't we know anything about this? Okay, one last thing to take a look at. Gunner deck. Who is this guy? Is that him? Nope, he's behind me. Okay. We are looking for this guy, the balding guy. We can work out who he is later. So his get head is gone. He was shot blasted with the cannon by a terrible beast. Other guy perished, but where? Who's that? Okay, no, that's not him. Oh, he was crushed. He was, uh, I can't quite see him. Maybe I can get him from the other side. But he was, like, on the other side of this cannon. Maybe. There's our top man again. 
There's Brennan. There's Maba. Whoa. Hiding or dead? Oh, this is the Russian. I think he's always been dead. Just taking a look around, seeing if there's any lost details. Can I climb upstairs? No, these stairs are blocked off by memory? I'm not sure how to put that. Okay. So if I remember right, there was a guy next to this cannon that was swooped up by the thingy. That's who we heard dying. Beast or cannon? Is cannon even an option? Cargo is an option. No, cannon is an option. It's not quite right. Um, how much time do I have? I have enough time to do this. Yep. There's a man. Oh, I'm wrong. He wasn't crushed by the beast. It's the Russian. He got knocked around a little bit. I wish I could easily go back to the other memory. Because I want to take a look. I got that wrong. I got this wrong. I got this guy wrong. I messed up. Is there's body anywhere? I don't see the guys, but what did he get clipped out of the ship? Where's his body? Was he also killed by the cannon? He was right here struggling when it went off. He was just struggling with this guy. There's the guy's top hat. So, whoops. But where's... Where's the balding guy? He was like just here. Can I open this? I can't. Like, I don't even mind that I don't know who the balding guy was. He's, he's in this memory, right? Yeah, he's in this memory. Like, that's not him. No, that's not him. He disappeared! Is he under the... He's not under the cannon. How can we get an exterior look? Did he fall overboard? Did he jump out of the way overboard? Is he drowning right now? I'm... Uh, I'm dumbfounded by this. So... 
Okay, that's the end of the hour. Uh, we're going to come back to this. We didn't make a whole lot of progress, but we made some progress, so. <sighs> we'll be we'll be right back. What the hell is his body? Thank you. 